The 2nd of April will mark 20 years since the creation of Safer Neighbourhood Teams. The first uh, launch of, uh, of this was in Stonebridge uh, in the borough of Brent. Uh, I, before coming to this place as a councillor, in 2010, uh, I remember my ward in Duddon Hill having a dedicated ward sergeant, two PCs and two PCSOs. Sadly, by the time Boris Johnson left office here as Mayor of London, I was down to one PCSO and a shared, uh, shared sergeant. Uh, so what do you see moving forward in neighbourhood policing and will we see numbers increasing beyond the three you've already promised uh, to wards? Yeah, you'll remember that Ken Livingstone and the Labour government invested in uh, police in the last 14 years. We've had a central government making massive cuts in uh, uh, policing in the short to medium term. I don't think we'll go back to those numbers uh, because you know, there's, there's, there won't be a general election later on this year. It'll take some time for uh, uh, the Labour government to fix the mess they inherit. But we're going to be returning to this sort of neighbourhood policing. The Commissioner uh, believes in it. He knows that I believe in it. He's strengthening the neighbourhood teams that we uh, uh, have. Uh, we're trying to use our resources in a way where they're targeted towards those parts of London where we know there are particular issues. I mentioned the project uh, that there was in Barnet uh, that Anne Clark was involved in. There are other sort, that sort, those sorts of bespoke projects where we send in police officers to support the neighbourhood teams uh, uh, that are yeah, that are there. The good news is uh, we now have confirmation of you know what you know uh, two police officers and one PCSO in every ward. That should be going up, not down, as was the case before I became mayor. Thank you.